Okay, okay, well, okay, say we're going to journal page 34. Creating systems of linear equations. Set up and solve a system of equations to solve the problem. Casey wants to buy a gym membership. One gym has $70 joining fee and $35 per month. Another gym has no joining fee and cost of $70 per month. When would Casey pay the same amount of the membership? So same, underline that, immediately put equal sign. Okay, same is equal. Okay, first thing we need to do is write the equation. So the first gym has $70 joining fee and a cost of $35 per month. So that's $70 plus $35 per month. Okay, now another gym has no joining fee and costs $70 per month. Okay, so there's your equations. Now, again, we want to know when they're the same, so we're going to set them equal to each other. So we have 70 plus 35, and I believe that's T, equals 70T. Okay, so we're going to solve for T, so we're going to subtract 35T from both sides. This becomes... 0, you get 70 equals 35t. Divide both sides by 35. 2 equals t. So after two months, Casey will have paid. Now to find out how much pay, we plug this into either equation. I'm just going to plug it into the second one. That seems to be easiest. So 70 times 2 equals 140. So she'll have paid $150 at either gym. And you can check if I plug it into the other one. 70 plus 35 times 2 equals 140 as well. So you can see that they both cost $140 after two months. All right, go and finish up that example. All right, example two. Set up and solve the system of equations to solve the problem. A jar containing N nickels and D dimes. There are 20 coins in the jar, and the total value of the coins is $1.50. How many nickels and how many dimes are in the jar? So first things first, let's say we know N, and actually we don't have to write, we can just highlight N is nickels and D is dimes, okay? So we know that the total va number of coins is 20. So that's N plus D equals 20. Now money goes with money goes with money. Now nickels are worth 0 0.05 plus dimes are worth 0 0.01. Oh, I'm sorry, 0 0.10. Okay. And then money goes with money goes with money, and that equals $1.50. Okay, now to solve, we can use elimination. All right, so let's eliminate, I guess the nickels sound pretty good. So we're going to multiply the first equation by negative 0 0.05. Okay, so that's negative 0 0.05 n minus 0.05 d equals negative 0 0.05 times 20 is negative 1. And then we're just going to use the second equation. Okay. Well, the ends cancel. Negative 0 0.05 and 0 0.10 is 0 0.05d equals negative 1 plus 150 is 0 0.50. We're going to divide 0 0.05 by both sides. So d equals. So there are 10 
dimes. Now, to find the number of nickels, we can go back to the equation n plus d equals 20. Well, we know dimes is 10, so that's n plus 10 equals 20. So real simple, subtract 10 from both sides, n equals 10. So, the jar contains 10 nickels and 10 dimes. Now let's take a look at the next example. All right. A local boys club sold 136 bags of mulch and made a total of $251. It sold two types of mulch, hardwood for $2 a bag and pine bark for $1.25 a bag. How many bags of each kind of mulch did it sell? Okay. So it says a local boy sculpt sold 136 bags of mulch. So that means that hardwood, let's call H, plus P is pine wood, equals 136. Okay. Now it says the hardwood mulch was $2 a bag, so that's 2H plus the pine bark was $1.75 and meant for money goes with money goes with money, which equals... $251. Okay, now we can solve this by elimination. So we're going to multiply the first equation by negative 2. So that's negative 2h minus 2p equals 136 times negative 2 is negative 272. And then we're going to use the second equation. So that's 2H plus 1.75P equals 251. This becomes 0. So then negative 2 plus 1.75 is negative 0.25P equals negative 272 plus 251 is negative 21. Divide both sides by negative 0 0.25. P equals 84. Okay. Now, to find the hardware, we go back to the first equation. H plus P equals 136. We know P is 84, so H plus 84 equals 136. Solve for H, subtract 84 from both sides. H equals 52. Okay. So the boy sold 80, or no, I'm sorry, 52 bags of hardwood mulch, and 84 bags of pine bark. Okay, go ahead and finish up that example. Let's take a look at the next example. Use a given cost table for the same product from two different companies to create a linear system. Then solve the system to determine when the cost of the product will be the same and what the price will be. Okay. You see the word same, you immediately think equal, okay? Now here, I, we have the, the intercept, but we need this slope, the, the change in y over change in x. So to find this slope, we need to do m equals 34 0.5 minus 18.75 divided by 2 minus 1. So m equals 15.75. So that's what goes right here. 15.75. X plus
plus 3. Okay. Now we need to find the y-intercept. So we have to find out when x is 0. Okay. Well, let's just go through and find this y-intercept first. So we got to figure out what we're adding each time. Well, it looks like we're adding $15.75 each time. So to find this number, we're going to do 18.75 minus 15.75, and that equals 3. So that matches that number right there. Okay, so now to find this number right here, we need to do find out what we're adding each time. So to do that, let's do, ah, it's right here, 12.25, right? So we're, we're adding 12.25 this way, so we're going to subtract. So to find this number, we're going to do 64.25 minus 12.25, which equals 5, 2.00. Okay? So we can just write that as 2.00. So, and here we just write it as plus 52. Okay? So now we have our equations. We want to know the same, so we're going to set these equal to each other. Okay? So that's 15.75x plus 3 equals 12.25x plus 52. Okay? First thing we're going to do is subtract 12.25 x from both sides this becomes 0 15.75 minus 12.25 is 3.5 so that's 3.5 x plus 3 equals 52 subtract 3 from both sides You get 3.5x equals 49. Divide both sides by 3.5. x equals 14. Okay, now we need to find the y values. We're going to plug 14 into either equation. I'm thinking the first one's fine. So 15.75 times 14 plus 3 equals 223 dollars and 50 cents. So, that means it charges $223.50 for 14 pounds of paprika. Okay, go ahead and finish up that example. Let's take a look at the next example. Okay. Let f of x represent the cost for dry cleaning. Oh, I'm sorry. Use the given cost table for the same product from two different companies to create a linear system. Then solve the system to determine the cost of the product will be the same. Again, same is equal. And what the price will be. Let f of x represent the cost of dry cleaning at company one. And let g of x represent the cost of dry cleaning at company two. Where x is the number of garments dry cleaned. Okay. Now, to find this number, the y-intercept, we need to figure out when this is zero. Okay. So 15, 10, 5, 0. But to find out what the change is, we need to find the slope. So let's find the slope first. So m equals 107.5 minus 
is 4.25. So this is 4.25x. So that means we need to subtract 86.25 minus 4.25. Now, but be careful because this is per one, okay? Okay, so we actually need to multiply that by five. Okay, so then that's sixty five. So this number right here is sixty five. Okay, so now here we need to find the slope for this equation. So we're going to do m equals sixty seven point five zero minus. 36.25 divided by 10 minus 5. Which is 6.25. So to find the y-intercept, we need to do 36.25 minus 6.25 times 5, which equals 6.25. So this is plus 65, and this is plus 5. Now, remember, we're wanting to know when they're the same, so we set them equal to each other, so that's 4.25x plus 65 equals 6.25x plus 5. And we're going to solve for x. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 4.25x from both sides. That's 0. You get 65 equals 2x plus 5, subtract 5 from both sides, you get 60 equals 2x, divide both sides by 2, x equals 30. Now that tells us how many garments, that's 30 garments, but now we need to find the cost. So we can plug this into either equation, I'm just going to plug it into the first, so that's 4.25 times 30 plus 65 equals 192.5. Now you could have plugged it into the second one, I got the same thing, 6.25 times 30 plus 5 equals... 192.5. Okay, so go ahead and finish up that example. All right, next example. All right, use the graph to make a linear model of each function. Describe the meaning of the terms in the model, then to create the linear system and state what the solution represents. All right. All right, so f of t 
the y-intercept of b is 250. And the slope, to find the slope, we do m equals 490 minus 250 divided by, and let me use color here to distinguish. Okay, divided by 6 minus 0. So that's 40. So the slope of f of t is 40. So the equation is 40 t plus 250. Okay, now okay, the y-intercept of g of t, let's just do that in pink, okay, is 370, and the slope, to find the slope, we do m equals 490 minus 370 divided by 6 minus 0. So that is 20. So the slope is 20. So the equation is 20t plus 370. The y-intercept represents the starting number of apples picked. The slope represents the number of apples picked per hour. The solution, we need to set each of these equations equal to each other to find the point, but we don't. They gave us that. It's right here. This is our point of intersection. So 6, 490. So the solution is 6, 490, which represents a total of 6 apples each person has after, I'm sorry, 490 apples first have to after six hours. I actually think the that's not wrong, but I think they're going to put the six right there. All right. Let's take a look at the next equation. For example, sorry. All right. So. Now, let's make this f of t. So let's find y-intercept is pretty simple, is 4. Now we need to find the slope. So m equals 92 minus 4 divided by 8 minus 0. which is 11. So the slope is 11. So the equation is 11t plus 4. Okay. So let's make that line pink. So the y to the b is 36. And then the slope, m equals 92 minus 36 divided by 8 minus 0. is 7. So the slope is 7. So the equation is 7t plus 36. Okay. Now the y-step represents the starting number in gallons of water. The slope represents the rate of gallons of water per minute. The solution is 892, represents a total of 92 gallons, 
of water predicted by both functions to pass through a point or section of pipe after eight minutes. All right, go ahead and finish up your examples. Start working on your assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.